The Bauer 2X chest protector was a revelation, but does the Hyperlite have what it takes to fill those shoes? All right, guys, this is gonna be my full review of the Bauer Hyperlite chest protector. I already did an out of the box uh, kind of overview of it where I more went over just the specs, the build of it, you know, kind of the whole story of it. So now this is me after using it for a while, uh, my thoughts of what I think about it. So I'm coming from the Bauer 2X before using this and the Bauer 2X is the first chest protector that got me out of uh, from using Vaughn for many years. Um, so, you know, the Hyperlite has some pretty big shoes to fill to, uh, keep up with what, how I, how much I like the 2X. Um, and there's also a certain issue with Bauer that's going to, uh, rear its ugly head with this unit that, uh, it's not a good look for the company. It's, it's not a big deal, but we'll, we'll, t we'll get into it in a second. So overall, I do like this chest protector. Um, you know, I, I sold the 2X because I, after using it for a while, I knew I was just going to keep this and keep using it. So it, I did like it enough to, that it's now my full-time current chest protector. I, I, it's the only chest protector I have right now. So like I said, I sold the 2X. So I do like it. There's a little, as far as how it compares to the 2X though, there's a little give and take with that. Overall, it's still a very good chest protector. Still, I would say one of the best out there. It's just that there's certain things that were dialed in and out from the 2X. So with the 2X, like that was just the most crazy mobile chest protector I've ever had. And that's really what drew me to it because I'm above anything else. I mean, yeah, I want to be protected enough where I'm not getting injured. But I'm not one of these guys that just like, oh, I don't want to ever feel anything. And if I get one bruise every now and then, I'm going to make a big deal about it. I don't care. If I can, if it, I'm unencumbered in my movement and the mobility is great, that's going to be the main issue for me. And the 2X was just the most mobile chest protector I've ever used. And that one, that one thing about it, the mobility that stood up above everything else is what made me want to switch to it. So the thing now with the Hyperlite it's not, you know, if I have to compare it, it's not quite as mobile as the 2X. Now, that's not saying it's not mobile, but I didn't like it. It's still super mobile. If I had never used the 2X and I just used this, I would think this is really one of the most mobile uh, units I've ever used. It's just that when you, if I do have to compare it to the 2X, the mobility is not quite there. It's a hair off from the 2X. Now, why is that? Well, there's give and take, like I said. What they did was they beefed up the unit a little more. And this is just the stock unit. This is not even, you can get like a pro beef up version of it even more so. But they beefed up even just the stock unit. So, of course, you can't just have the best of all worlds, the best of everything. You know, there's always give and take in life. So, with chest protectors, you know, the more you beef it up, the less mobile it's going to be usually. And that's kind of what happened here. But, like I said, it's not a big deal. It's not that it's not mobile. But... A little less mobile but if you tried the 2x and you thought that the 2x was lacking adequate protection for your taste then you actually might think this is just an overall improvement um, for me you know like I said I'm still I'm using this as my main chest protector but because of that little you know drawback of the slightly less mobility in this I think I'm still going to, whenever Vaughn finally releases their next SLR chest protector, I think I still might get that and try it out and then, you know, see between that and this, which one I like better and then get rid of the one I, I like less of the two. Um, whereas I think if it still had the same just ridiculous mobility that was above anything else like the 2X had, I might not even bother uh, getting the SLR. But I feel like... 
the fact that the mobility's kind of gotten drawn back to the pack of everything else, whereas it was head and shoulders above everything else, in my opinion. Now I'm kind of like wondering, all right, let's see what Vaughn does, and maybe I'll, I might like that better, whatever, because, you know, all things being equal now, I would say, you know, this is about roughly similar to what my, the last SLR unit I had for Vaughn is as far as mobility, and I had already said that that had a little bit better protection than my 2X chest protector. So now this almost seems like pretty much on par with that SLR since it's a little more beefed up. So now it kind of has that same level of protection and the mobility is roughly the same. So now what else you got to look for? Quality. And if I'm going to, it's between Vaughn's quality and Bauer quality, I'm going to go with Vaughn. So that's what I'm saying. Like I want to see what Vaughn comes out with with their next line. Uh, but it's not to say I don't like this chest protector. I mean, I, I want to make that clear. I do really like it. I, it. I mean, I've been using it. Like I said, it's my main, for me to make it my main chest protector, I have to like it. I think it's really, this is still a really great unit. It's just that, you know, the one thing that the 2X had that made it stood up above everything else is the mobility. And now with this, it's still great. It's just not the best, you know? So it's like, when you're known for one thing as being the best and then you, you know you dial that back a little bit and now you're kind of just amongst a couple other units as to like tied for the best you know you're no longer standing out and so that was the thing for me that really stood out for me with the 2x that for me i would have rather them just kept that crazy mobility and i personally didn't need any more beefing up or more protection but that's the direction they went. I mean, I know that I did hear people say that about the 2X unit. So I guess that's the choice Bauer made was was to add a little more protection. So, you know, if you saw my out of the box video, I talked about uh, there's some obvious places where they 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 beefed it up. Where mainly the, the uh, chest part here. They had added a whole other layer of this, uh, the rebound control foam, they're calling it, over the... Uh, uh, hard uh, com curve composite piece that they had on the 2X. So you have like a two layer thick uh, chest area here. It's super protective. I mean, that, I would even say it's almost a little overkill. And so that that is also part of the reason why I, I can kind of feel it being slightly less mobile, especially like when you get into like a low crouch in your stance or something. This front part, doesn't quite contour to your body the same way the 2X did. It's not that it, it's stopping you from doing something or it really feels that bad. It's just not as seamless and crazy mobile as the 2X. You feel like when you get in that, that crouch, it feels like it kind of puffs out a little more instead of just like going, bending inward with you, how your crouch is, if that makes sense to you. Um, so, and then, you know, the, another reason, not just for protection reasons, but one of the reasons they did that was they wanted to try to kill the rebounds more off the front. Um, so I, I do think the rebounds aren't coming off the chest as hot as they did with the 2X, but I still feel like it, it still does come off a little hotter than some other units. Um, so they didn't, like, completely solve that issue. You know, they made it less of an issue, but... Sometimes there are rebounds that are hard to control if you're getting a shot right to the chest, even with this new extra layer of foam here. Um, besides that, I kind of speculated in the out of the box video that the arms felt a little beefier and after using them, uh, I do feel like the protection is a little better in the arms from the 2X. Um, in both, in two ways. One, just like it feels like a little thicker. The, the foams are padding they use here does feel a little thicker but also there's more like of a wrap around protection for the arm so like as you see this piece that wraps around the upper arm then they have similar pieces around the wrist that wrap around that they didn't necessarily have that on the 2x they also have this extra uh, shoulder piece here that i went over in my last video so all that being said you know adds up to more protection like i said um and then well and actually Another, probably the, aside from the chest maybe, the, the next like biggest difference you could tell in this is the side protection. Again, I went over how this looked bigger to me in the out of the box video, but uh, when you wear it, you start using it, you definitely notice this side protection. 
and it's even almost a little too much i would say because like with the 2x i didn't really have to be honest i've never had issues with like side protection you know for the most part if you're looking at the puck square to the puck you're not going to get it hit on the side like that i mean i know there's always uh, instances where we're out of position or you get caught on a weird shot, a deflection, what have you. And that could always get you there. Uh, and, you know, nobody plays a perfect game. But I can't remember, like, a time I've taken a bad shot to the ribs in any unit I've ever had that I felt like, oh, man, this is the unit's fault that I it needs more protection there. But that being said, this has a lot of side protection. And, like, I would say the first couple skates, it was actually a little annoying. Like, I could really feel it up even going like up under my armpit almost. And I think it's not that it really, cause it's, it's pretty soft foam. You can see it's not like even really harsh, hard, whatever. So I think more, it was just that I wasn't used to feeling something there. So that's why I felt weird. But at this point now, I don't even really notice anything weird about that side protection anymore. So it's, it ended up not being like a big deal. It's just that if you're not used to it, it might feel weird at first. But in the end, it's, it's not a big deal. And it does offer you a lot of protection. Uh, probably some of the best side rib protection I've seen on any unit uh, recently. So, you know, they definitely, if you're somebody who's a little more concerned with uh, protection issues, uh, this is probably a little bit of an upgrade maybe for you from the 2X. Whereas if you're more like me and you just love that, crazy mobile like that's what drew you to the 2x and that's your main concern with the chest protector like you're not gonna not like this it's just that if i'm being honest it's slightly stepped down in mobility you know so um but overall it still works very well for me um and i'm very happy with it i don't like regret buying it or anything um, and I, you know, I did need a new one. My 2X was getting pretty beat up. So, you know, I like it. The arms, the mobility in the arms really aren't any worse. It's mainly like in the body part of it. I can, I feel like it's slightly less. Um, I don't know if they could maybe solve that in a future unit by somehow making, I don't know, making more flex points in this area, maybe coming up with, instead of just having like two layers of this, I don't know, doing away with maybe the curve. Because I feel like you probably don't even need that curve composite that's underneath this. I feel like if you just had this top padding piece, that would be fine. I, I really don't. I think it's overkill what they've did, done with this front piece. But maybe some other people actually feel like they need it. Um, but yeah, so the arms are, are pretty mobile still. Like it's, That's not really where I feel much of a difference in mobility. Even though I do think... The arms are a little better, have a little better protection on them as well. It's just mainly that body part that I notice more of it feeling a little more bulkier. It doesn't quite bend the same ways as the 2X did. Um, another thing on my out of the box video, I kind of speculated about with this like extra shoulder piece here that it was going to kind of present a bigger, present you as a little bit bigger, especially in the shoulder area when you're playing. And I feel like that that is the case i mean i have no way to scientifically prove that to test that really it's just kind of like me seeing how i look with this on and you know like there's been some shots where i feel like it clipped me in the shoulder and i it didn't go in and made the save whereas maybe with the 2x or some other unit that the shoulders were a little more rounded it would kind of not i wouldn't have gotten it as good and it would have still went in you know this could just be like confirmation bias where because I was already thinking that in my head that now I feel like that was the case when it really wasn't. Um, like I say, I have no way to really concretely prove this with some kind of science or testing. It's just kind of what I feel like from using it. So I do feel like, you know, it presents me, my shoulders a little bigger to the shooter. I do feel like maybe it's helped make a couple saves here and there more than I would have. Um, but I can't say that with 100% certainty, but it, it does seem like it does take up more room or make you a little bigger in the net than the 2X unit did. Uh, overall, I mean, there's other units that will that are bigger, bulkier than this, but just comparing it to the 2X, I feel like it does 
present make you present as a little bigger um so now i want to talk about the elephant in the room with bauer <sighs> the quality so if you're watching this video you probably have heard the horror stories and bauer's quality that i've said they've gotten better at i still admit they're not as good as other some other companies but and if you saw my review on the 2x uh chest protector when i it was just before i had gotten my own and i was using my buddies uh you saw me tell you about how the this uh loop in the, the belly loop came came off for me like i wasn't even i hadn't even tied that down to anything so i guess it was from when my friend had used it before i even got it or what i don't even know but he hadn't even used it more than a few skates and that thing was barely hanging on by a thread. It was like almost completely torn off. So that was like a bad, I mean, it's a small thing. It's a belly loop. It's not the end all be all. It's not like you can't use the, the unit if that came off, but still if something coming off of it after a few skates is not a good look. And that happened with my buddy's 2X unit. Um, I think he returned it and got a new one or something. I don't know. I don't want to get too much into that, but just know that there was that issue with the 2X when I first reviewed my buddy's 2X unit. So then I got my own, which I bought used, and I never had problems with that one. So, you know, it's not that every Bauer thing has problems, but the one did have an issue that was like right off the bat, which is bad. And then another unit I had didn't have that issue. So with the Hyperlite, now, you know, I, had, I bought this brand new. Um, after literally after the, it was either the first or second skate, definitely no more than the second skate. I had something break off. So if you saw the out of the box video, you might've seen that there was an elastic piece that went across the top of the arm here. It goes across like right here. What that did was kind of help keep this extra, how I just mentioned a little while ago, that there was this extra arm flap here for protection. So the elastic piece just helped keep that in place there, whatever. You'd have to put your arm through it as you were putting it on. That thing uh, broke. I don't even remember which arm it was that it broke off of, but uh, it tore on one side. So it was loose. It was gone. What I decided to do, you know, I'm not that great with sewing or anything like that. And ultimately, you don't need it to use the pad, to use the unit. I just decided to cut it off the other side so they were both equal. So now I don't have that little elastic piece in the arms, but like I said, you don't need it. So the only thing now is like when I first put the unit on, that flap usually kind of gets stuck, turned over. So I have to kind of just reach across, pull it out and make sure it's like form fitted around my arm properly. And then once you put the jersey on, it's fine. It won't like move around. It won't get twisted or anything once you have it set. It's just that when you first put the unit on, if you don't have those little straps, you have to probably kind of fix that part on your arm. So it's not a huge deal or anything, but it's just the fact that it's another Bauer product that something broke after the first or second skate. It's just frustrating, you know, because I, I really think they make good products from the aspect of like how they feel, how they perform, the innovation technology. It's just this damn uh, quality issues they have. Um, and it's like at this point, it's like it's not even good enough for them to be on par with other companies because they have such a bad reputation at this point. I feel like they almost have to be have better quality than anybody else for, for their reputation to start turning around. So, you know, I'm like I said, I'm still this is my unit. I'm still using it. Uh, it's it's going to be my chest protector for the foreseeable future. Uh, until Vaughn comes out with their new one and I'm going to try theirs. I don't even necessarily mean I'm going to switch to theirs, but, uh, but it's just frustrating, man. This, those, the quality issue is something, you know, I got to point out if I'm being honest about this, I don't want to sw sweep that under the rug or anything. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was not a good thing that happened with this unit. That's kind of perpetuating the stereotype of Bauer shitty quality. You know, at least it wasn't something major where it really affects the performance of the unit. It's a minor thing, minor inconvenience when I first put the unit on and I might have to fix the little arm flap. 
But then once you start playing, it doesn't matter, doesn't do anything. But it's just disappointing that that happened. And, you know, um, that being said, you know, I know a few other guys locally that use this same unit and I haven't heard that like anything broke on theirs or whatever. So it's so like I said, it's not that like everything Bauer puts on every single unit, every, you know, everything they release, every, something breaks on it. It's just that it seems to happen a little more often than with other companies. And this is now the second time personally that I've, I've experienced something breaking on a Bauer chest protector. Um, trying to think what else I can talk about. Uh, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it, you know. I, I really hope that this doesn't come across as me not liking this unit. Because I want to reiterate, I really actually do like this unit. It's just that the one thing that really stood out about the 2X now is not as great with this. It's still very good. still excellent. Just not that crazy. It's like, you know, if, if, let's put it this way. It's like if you create a character, create a uh, skater or goalie whatever in the nhl video game you know obviously you you put the attribute certain levels like you know his, you put the butter if you're creating a goalie you put the butterfly at 90 you put the rebounds at 86 or whatever and then you know after you fill out all the attributes that spit out spits out the overall rating for your character like say uh, at the end your overall rating is 88 so you can you know, then go in and edit that and put one attribute a little lower, put another attribute a little higher, but your overall rating is still going to be the same. I feel like that's kind of what happened with this, where the <laughs> the mobility attribute got lowered a few levels and the protection attribute got raised a few levels and overall it's about the same. It's just that if you specifically care more about mobility it's a slight negative for you. Whereas if you specifically care more about protection, it's actually a slight positive for improvement, whatever for you. So, but still overall, a quality aside, I would still say this is one, definitely one of the top uh, chest protector units out there overall, because the mobility is great. The protection, like, I, if you're, if you were the, like okay, the two X, I could kind of see if you just really don't want to feel anything. But if you put this on and you're still complaining about protection, man, I mean, you, like I said, you have that option of, of going even beefier than this. But I don't know what to tell. I mean, I feel like this is pretty damn good protection on this. Like, I don't know that, that you know everyone's different. Everyone has their own tastes. But um, just overall, this is a very very solid unit. And uh, I think most people would find it, uh, would find that they like it. And like I said, there's a couple other guys down here that have this. I've heard nothing but good things from them about their experience using this unit. So, and even just in general, I really haven't heard anything bad about this unit. This still, much like the 2X, this still seems to remain a very popular unit with uh, people in general. So, um, yeah. Uh, trying, just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything here. I think that's basically going to be it. As always, you know, you guys ask if, ask me anything you want in the comments. I'll be happy to answer if there's something I, you're wondering about that I I missed about this. Um, uh, maybe just uh, talk about the sizing real quick. I mean, I mentioned in the other video that this was a, a size large. I, I think I did at least. But um, that's what I... I've used large and Vaughn. I had large and 2X. So if you're wondering like if the sizing is still about the same, uh, yeah. So if you were using a large in the 2X or just use a large chest protector in general, that's probably the size you're going to want to go with with this. Um, so yeah. And then of course, you know, there's things, I, you know, I don't want to get too much into it because I went over it in the other video, but there's things you can adjust on here, the arms, whatever, the flaps at the bottom, you can adjust. Um, to kind of really dial that in to your specific body type, sizing, whatever. But in general, if you have been using a large, I would say the large is probably going to work for you still. So go with the large. Um, but yeah, so, you know, really like it. But whereas the 2X was like locked me down with it as far as I don't even, wasn't even curious about other chest protectors while I was using that. This, I mean, very good. Still like it. Performs great for me, but... 
eh, my eyes still kind of wandering, <laughs> seeing what else is out there. Um, especially when it comes to what Bond is going to come out with eventually. But, yep. So that's basically the end of this video. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, which the next one I'm working on is I have my Hyperlight set, the leg pads, the glove and blocker, which uh, if you want to see, I did it out of the box overview of those. But uh, I'm still working on playing more and more with them uh, so I can do the review video for that. Uh, so far, so good with them. You know, they feel pretty good so far, but uh, just be on the lookout for that video. That's going to be the next one. Uh, I'll see you then.